Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you've been well. We're doing a video on this, my EDC backpack. I love this color, I love it. Uh, we're sitting down today because I jacked up my ankle. If you haven't seen my last video, you might want to check it out uh, if you're curious about what I did to my ankle. So I'm milking it for all it's worth. So I'm gonna go ahead and put an address down below that you can send care packages and flowers and ch I'm just kidding. I'm actually, hopefully I'll recover soon. But there's been a bunch of topical videos that I've been asked about a lot that I'll be knocking out now that I'm injured and I can't do much else. One of those is an update on my EDC backpack video. I did a Vertex. Uh, Vertex makes a lot of bags. I like a lot of their bags. Uh, I'm a beta tester and product tester and stuff for them, so I, I get all their bags. So if you're curious about all the Vertex bags, uh, I'll link it this side. I'll link it up here because people always ask me like, which bag should I get for this or that? So I made a video talking about all the bags. My main bag, my main bag of theirs that I use is this, this is the Gamut. It's the new Gamut, the Gamut 2.0. And their other main bag I use is the Vertex Contingency Duffel. So that's like my camping bag. Uh, and I don't know, I could do a breakdown on that too. Kind of my camping duffel, if you're into that, let me know in the comments down below. So yeah, so I have an EDC bag. I'm a web developer. A lot of people ask that. If I have a job, if I have a real job, I do. My Monday through Friday, nine to five, nine to six really is as a web developer, so it's my laptop bag. But since I'm a gear guy, I'm a gear junkie, I have a bunch of other stuff in here in addition to my laptop. So if you're a gear guy too, you're gonna wanna stay tuned and check out all the stuff I have. This is a new bag. I transferred a lot of the stuff from my old bag. So if you watched my last EDC bag video that I posted like a year or two ago, a lot of it's still the same. Um, I've got into a pretty good gear system in my bag. I don't use all the gear all the time. Some of it I've never used ever, but I have it here just in case I need it. And it does get a little bit heavy, uh, but I drive, so I'm only carrying this basically from my parking lot to my desk at my office, and then from my car into the house if I bring it in. So I'm not lugging this for miles at a time, but a lot of the items in here kind of could pseudo be transitioned into kind of the get home bag realm too. So I'll quit talking and I'll just dive right in, I think. All right, so this is it, the Vertex Gamut 2.0. I've been EDCing this bag since the 1.0, I guess. This is actually my third Gamut. Um, it's my favorite one to date, uh, color and features and everything. So that's that. I know you can't really tell what it looks like so well on the table here. So I'll go ahead and overlay some B-roll of it on my back and in various environments so you can kind of get a feel. But I do feel like the tabletop videos are good because I can open things up and show you the pockets and they just, I think they work well uh, for backpacks. So that's what we're gonna do here. Okay, so the Gamut 2.0, it is, for me, probably on the large end of a backpack that I would wanna carry every day. Uh, so to keep in mind, I'm 5'10", 175-ish, and that's about, this is about as big of a bag as I would wanna carry around every day. I could carry a bigger bag if I wanted to, yeah. I could carry a smaller bag if I wanted to, yeah. But if you're much smaller than that, this will probably feel like a pretty large backpack for you, for like an everyday laptop bag. Having said that, if you have a very big laptop, like a 17 inch or something, you'll be good to go in this. Um, and there is a lot of room for stuff. So if you have a lot of gear, obviously, it will be a good option as well. Let's talk about some of the exterior features real quick. We have some Velcro down here, so if you want to slap on a little LLOD patch or my Tacoma patch that's actually sold out, but I'll probably do a third generation of this. See you later, Atreyu. You can slap on some patches here. Uh, this is largely a monotone bag, so depending on what color you get, you may get some more color variation. It does have this little leather accent, which I love, which is also a grab handle. So this grab handle right here is nice if you just throw it on in the backseat of your car or on your desk and you just wanna grab it off. It's nice having an easy handle up here to grab it and lift it from. There is another traditional kind of style backpack hook loop here. You can hang it from a hook or whatever. Uh, 
And then we have two external water bottle holster, holsters, uh, water bottle pockets, which I like a lot. Do have one of the fatter Nalgene water bottles here for demo purposes that I just dripped on my leg. It does fit them. It is a snug fit though. So if you have the pocket underneath here loaded out uh, with a decent amount of gear, you probably won't be able to fit a fat water bottle like this in these pockets. Both of the pockets are the same size. It does have a little bungee retaining strap as well. So let's go to the back here. The back is kind of this 3D molded panel, allows for a little bit of ventilation. It is padded as well. It does have a pass through here so you can throw it onto a, like a carry on handle suitcase or something if you wanted to do that. And the straps are nice, have a bunch of lashing points for various things. It does have a sternum strap that is removable and adjustable up and down. Some more nice looking leather accents here. The straps are adjustable. They do have clips so you can quick release them. And they do have little Velcro keepers. So you could either cut the nylon straps down once you have your fit, or you can kind of roll them up and keep them from dangling around. It does also have a hip strap, sorta, not a padded one or a weight bearing one or anything like that, but it would be nice if you were gonna be running or moving fast, you know, you're running to catch a bus, maybe you commute, you might wanna flat strap that on. I took it off because I don't, I don't use it for that purpose. Uh, and that's basically what we got going on on the exterior. So let's go ahead and get into some pockets, I think and we will start in the back here. So like pretty much all Vertex bags, we have this dangly guy. This is a quick access strap, basically, a zipper pull, a large zipper pull, so you can get it and get to this pocket easy. This pocket basically is the concealed carry pocket. So if you had it on your shoulder, you could fling it around, zip that up and get to a pocket back here. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up all the way which isn't as easy to do on the backpacks as it is on their sling bags. And I really don't use this pocket for much, honestly. But on this side, we have Velcro. So I do sell a Velcro holster. It's called the Stage 5 Clinger. Get it? And that can hold uh, a Glock or a P10C are the only models I make that for right now. But it's a Kydex holster that Velcros. So if you're into that, check out my site, llod.us. In the back here, I have some flat items. These are just N95 masks for, you know, the end of the world, preparedness, dust, whatever, smoke, uh, whatever I want to use these for. I keep a couple of them in there because they're super light and they take up no space. In addition, I have some Halo chest seals back here. They do have in the Gamma 2.0 an easier pocket back here, so it's Velcroed on the bottom. Underneath here, I have a Premier Body Armor panel. It is uh, rated, I believe it's a 3A, I think. Anyways, it's a soft panel, stops handgun rounds, uh, will not stop your rifle rounds, uh, but will stop any handgun round. I've tested this on my channel, shot it up a bunch, it stopped even uh, 50 AE out of my Desert Eagle. Premier Body Armor makes panels custom fit to Vertex bags, which is nice because if you have a bigger bag, you have a bigger panel. You have more bullet protection from there. They're super thin. You don't even notice they're in there. They weigh about a pound. They take up you know, virtually no space and you're walking around with essentially a bulletproof vest 24 seven. You can fly with them. If this is a backpack that you're giving to your kid or something at school, great little extra peace of mind. Uh, and I don't even know it's in there. I put it, I put them in all my backpacks pretty much that I use and they just, I set it and forget it. I haven't been shot at yet, so I can't attest to it saving my life, but it could potentially. Uh, both Vertex and Premier give me a coupon code. Premier, I think is 10% off. Uh, that code is LLOD at premierbodyarmor.com. Vertex gives me a big code, 25% off at vertex.com. Uh, and that code works for anything on either of those sites. So if you ever wanna pick anything up, Feel free to use my code. Okay, flipping around to the front now, we have some external pockets. We have one up here, it's a good spot to toss some sunglasses or something. For me, obviously, I toss some snacks. My main jam these days, snacks, is these little individual trail mix pouches. Nutritious and delicious. I have another thing from 
Costco. It's a grain-free granola bar. There is a little key hook leash guy in there as well. Anyway, little pocket, easy access up top. Uh, I like these top pockets for sunglasses when I travel and stuff because it's not getting crushed under anything else. So good little sunglasses pocket. Here we have a pocket that does expand if you wanna put a bunch of stuff into it. Uh, it's zipped up and this little guy is kind of its quick release pull. So you can pull this and it quickly gets down into here. What we have here is where I keep some medical gear. In this little ITS tactical pouch, I have some gauze, some quick clots, some latex gloves, or maybe they're non-latex, I forget. Here I have a cat tourniquet, and I don't have a fancy pouch or anything here. These, some of these little Molly Alice straps are Velcro. So this actually, I just have like Velcroed to the straps. So it just kind of stays in place there with the Velcro. Tourniquets are great. Here I have, if I'm wanting a bigger, uh, more tactical style flashlight, this is my favorite of the bunch. My EDC is an Olight S2R2 baton, just because I like the functionality, I like the magnetic um, tail cap for, I do a lot of car camping and stuff, so I love this for my EDC, but it's not the most tactically minded uh, flashlight. For that, I love the Surefire EDC L2T. This guy has easy access to a low lumen mode, it's momentary only. And then if you are in a high stress situation or you need more lumens, then all you do is push it all the way and you get your max. I believe it's 1200 lumens. And you can do constant on by tw twisting the tail. Anyways, this is like my favorite of kind of more of the, I guess we'll call them tactical flashlights. So I keep that in here, just strapped on there. Here I have a little uh, CR123, you can use it for other stuff too, a battery container. It unclips like that. And this is called, I believe it's called a Therm Battery Vault. I will list and link everything that I use down below in the video description. And here I have some paracord. It's not that much. It's probably about 20 feet of paracord, uh, just kind of in here, somewhat loose, but pretty secure. Uh, and then I have a couple carabiners. This is an actual, you know, climbing carabiner. And then I have one of these more small, like little keychain styles. I find that I use carabiners a lot. So I'm kind of always looking for them, lashing them on gear. So I just kind of keep a couple extras wherever I go. They're really lightweight uh, and it's just a good spot that doesn't take up much room. And then I have a small pair, super lightweight uh, trauma shears. Uh, and you can fly with these. Uh, you can fly with everything here. So I keep this part in the pack. Uh, I'll touch back on that in a second. Then under here, we actually have a secret pocket, sort of, where you can stash your secret spy gear or contraband. I actually keep uh, some spare cash, like some emergency cash in here in case I, I lose my wallet or forget it or something. I always have a little bit of cash on me. Also, this whole panel can tuck up under here. That's kind of the secondary function of it. Uh, if you want to run this backpack with an exposed Molly style, maybe you're using it in a more tactical scenario or whatever, you can tuck that away and basically the backpack will be like this. I never do that on this backpack. Uh, additionally, we have these little straps. I think they're called kind of G hooks or something. Anyway, these can hook in to either the Alice straps over here and kind of turn this into basically a net or a hammock where you could put a helmet, you could stuff a big jacket, you could do any number of things. This is adjustable so this can get even bigger. Um, and you can hook it on a couple other points back here as well. Uh, so that's kind of like an expansion chamber if you want to carry some bigger gear up in there. Uh, I don't really use that feature much myself, but if you were someone like you rode a bicycle to work or something and you had a helmet and you wanted to strap it in, you could use that feature for that. These zippers do have a button if you wanted to button these up for an even more secure closure, but it does also have this little Velcro part here that Velcros in on the inside. So I find that is plenty secure for me. I don't mind these zippers dangling, but if you wanna really tuck them up out of the way, you could tuck them up in there as well. There's two pockets on either side of this backpack. One is here. And we have a few little 
different size pockets down here, and then a little zipper clear mesh pocket over here. I don't actually keep anything in those pockets. Oops. And then on the other side, we have a similar, though a little bit differently laid out pocket. We have uh, an elastic kind of keeper down in here. Here I always keep some wet wipes cause you never know. And then on this side, I keep a little bag of pills, ibuprofen, antihistamine, some stuff like that, as well as a thing of floss and a thing of Q-tips. So that's kind of the, the hygiene pocket, I guess we'll call it over there. That's how I have it set up. And then we get down in here into the main compartment. So the main compartment of this pack has these little button closures here, which are nice. So if you're never wanting to fully open this pack, I'll show you it fully opens in a second. If you're really just wanting to access it from the top, which is what I usually do, so I usually keep these buttons buttoned, then the zipper will just go down to here and it'll keep it kind of just flopping open at the top. But you can unbutton those and you can zip all the way down for a full opening, which I'll do here just to show you what we got going on. So on the inside of the pack, and this will be on the left side, but you can imagine when it is closed, this stuff is at the top. Let's put this back in here like it sits. So anyways, on this side, I have a Sharpie pen, I have a little lens computer screen cloth, I have an Olight, this is actually an H1 Nova. This is really a headlamp, but it's got a magnetic tail cap, and you can use it as a pocket clip, you can clip it onto your strap, that's kind of why I have it, and use it as a pseudo headlamp, but it'll be hooked onto your strap. I have that in here. This and the Surefire both run off of CR123s, which is what I got in that vault there. And then I have another regular Sharpie in here. So this is kind of your pen pocket organizer up here. Um, I'll get to this, I'll get back to this strap in a second. But if I forget, this you can flip out and this basically is an easy pull tab to quick access, pull down your whole pack. Um, the strap like that, if you're using this again in a kind of more tactically minded way. This up here is US soft side Velcro, the loop side of the Velcro, so your hook sided Velcro, more out patches and stuff can hook in up here. Then we have two of this kind of see-through grid mesh pockets here. This one I have some uh, little Magpul DACA wallet, again with a little bit of cash in there, and some spare cards. I have a pack of gum, and then in here, oh, I have I have some more gum, actually, yeah, lots of gum. This is a little, like, uh, these bags are kind of like those EMP bags, but not really. They're more to uh, separate the electrostatic, basically. So in this, I keep flash drives and some adapters and things like that, little thumb drives, uh, technical stuff. And then in here, actually, I think all I have, yeah, all I have is a pair of thin mechanics gloves. So if I'm working on something, building something, whatever. I, I use gloves a lot. Your hands are pretty delicate, even though, you know, mine are a little bit calloused up. I, you know, lift weights, chop firewood and all that stuff. It is nice to have gloves to protect your hands when you're doing something. Uh, if, you, if you cut up, you mess up your hands, that's, that's no good. Uh, so I use gloves when I can. And then in the main part of the backpack, I have these three separate pouches. I actually have this too, emergency toilet paper, because you never know. So we have a VanQuest pouch. This is my EDC pouch. I have a whole video on this. I'll link it up there if I remember. If I forget, just comment down below. But I go into this whole pouch in detail. Um, it hasn't changed much, so my old video that I edited about this pouch is all still relevant. A lot of awesome stuff in here. This is all legal to fly with, so we have some tools, we have a little pair of scissors, some of these expanding towels, little wrench. Um, in the front I have a Leatherman Fit Kit, pair of headphones, gloves, super glue, tweezers, more batteries, little um, nasal spray stuff, a Tide pen, an emergency tampon that uh, guys who are insecure with their sexuality can't get past, but you never know. I mean, emergency tampon, you, you save your save the day for your girlfriend or your wife. If you're too insecure for that, that's, that's cool, bro. Uh, hand sanitizer, Sharpie. 
I have these are like the virus N95 masks, and then I get into the super prepper mode. I have some uh, anti radiation pills, so some iodine tablets in case I get nuclear striked. You can tell by now that I'm a little bit of a survivalist prepper gear junkie. Um, don't let that freak you out too much. But this pouch. It's full of goodies. This pouch also, I have like, you know, dozens of pouches. I should probably transfer it like to something like a nice pouch. This is just a really cheap, crappy pouch that I bought a long time ago, but it's it just fits right in here. So I've never felt the need to change it. But in here, this is my no fly pouch essentially. So if I need to fly, if I'm traveling, I take this pouch out and the rest of my backpack is good to go. I can fly with it. I always remember to take this pouch out <laughs> when I fly. I put it all in one pouch, that way I'm not digging into a pocket or forget, or oh, it's in that hidden pocket, or oh, well, this is in the molly, and then this is in the other pocket. It's all in this pouch. So in here I have a little fixed blade defensive knife. This is a K-Bar TDI, one of my favorite uh, defensive blades. So if I'm going into a situation either where I can't carry a gun for legal reasons, or I just wanna be a little bit more armed, or if I wanna give this to a friend, I, I've never done that, like given to a friend, kind of uh, in case we're going into a sketch situation. But you know, I like to plan ahead. So that's a little lightweight knife. In here I also have a spare Glock mag. Again, if you're not a gun guy, you may think this is overkill, and it probably is, but you know, again, a little bit of a prepper. So I carry a Glock 19 on me in one of my holsters, uh, so I have my Glock 19. I have an extra mag already, but I got a whole backpack here, so might as well toss one extra mag in there. I like redundancy, uh, and it's never bad to have more mags. In here I keep an extra Skeletal CX in case I lose my own or in case I need two pliers for something or in case I need new two screwdrivers for something. Uh, it's just kind of a backup, two is one, one is none, you know, whatever. Uh, and then I have this little X-Acto knife if I need to do some fine detail cutting of some sort. That is this. Uh, and that is my little pouch, my no fly pouch. So some fun stuff in there, but just take it out if I'm gonna fly somewhere. This is a different pouch. This is a rough enough pouch. And in here, I have basically all my cables, some adapters, my charging cables, uh, MacBook, cell phone, USB-C, all that stuff. And then in this is uh, an extension. It's both kind of an extension cord, uh, but also a charger. So we have uh, USB-C PD, this is 60 watts, so it's actually enough to power my MacBook, as well as three other USB devices that I wanna charge off of. So that's nice, and it gives me a little bit of an extension cord, so this plus my cable can reach pretty much most outlets. Here I have a little battery pack. I'm not sure if this one's available anymore, uh, but again, this is another one that has USB-C PD. PD stands for power delivery. So this can charge my cell phone or it can charge my MacBook or an iPad or anything on a plane. So that's a big, big boy. I think it's a 20,000 milliamp hour. And then this I probably don't really need in here. I don't know why it's in here because it's kind of redundant with this but it's just a little dual USB charger cell phone. So if I'm in a hotel or something, I need to charge up and maybe I just want to plug this instead of getting this whole thing out, I can do that. So those are all of my cables in this pouch. I like the shape of this pouch because it takes up basically the whole bottom portion and these pouches don't stack on top of each other and make the bag wider than it needs to be. They stack nicely just like this. Let me go ahead and get these pouches out of the way for you so we can see this next part of the bag. So this is the laptop sleeve. It uses these Velcro parts over here so it's a little bit adjustable. Not a ton of adjustment, but it can become a little narrower and you can move this up and down a little bit. It is padded, it is plenty durable. Uh, up here is some more uh, Velcro. So here we have the uh, Sage Dynamics black patch. If you know, you know, I got a Haley Strategic Train patch, a little multicam flag here, but you can put whatever patches you want. Those ones are kind of special to me. And then what I have is just double protection. Uh, I am a web developer, I do YouTube videos, I edit photos, so computers are a big part of my life. So I have a pretty high-end uh, MacBook here. This is wrapped in multicam black. People always ask me, uh, I'll link to my friend Tamfam Graham, he sells vinyls for this, but I just bought a roll 
of Multicam Black and wrapped it myself and cut the edges. Anyways, this is a MacBook Pro. This is uh, my work laptop, essentially. So the reason I mention all of that, that's not to like brag, look at me, I have an expensive laptop. It's just that it is my lifeblood and I invested a lot of money into it. So I wanna keep it safe and secure. And while I do trust this, this sleeve, it's, it's relatively padded and relatively secure. I just like having a little bit more. So you can use a, this is a top loading sleeve. So this is an extra padded sleeve and I leave it unzipped. So my laptop just slides in there just like it's kind of part of the backpack. It does make it a tiny little bit more bulky. It's super lightweight though, so it doesn't add much weight. And it just gives me a little bit of extra peace of mind if, if I drop my backpack or if somebody takes it off of my desk and throws it on the ground not knowing that I have a laptop in there or whatever. It's just a little more protected. So I have kind of uh, basically a double laptop sleeve back in there. Uh, this sleeve can be removed entirely and it'll just have the Velcro back here. Uh, it can be used for a water bladder, it can be used for anything, you know, use your imagination. Uh, so that's what's going on in this backpack. Um, I do keep a little extra room. You can see, I mean, I have a ton of gear in here, obviously. Uh, a lot of times when I get a new backpack, I'll probably overstuff it and I kind of trim it out through the years. But all of that, I still have enough room up here to throw a jacket, throw, throw a lunch, throw some snacks, throw a bunch of other stuff. Maybe if I'm gonna use this for an overnighter, I can throw my clothes and my toothbrush. Uh, so there is still quite a bit of room left in this pack to fit more stuff, but that's essentially how I have it loaded out. Uh, this is a very soft material. I like it because it will patina, it will wear, it will show some dirt, and I'm kind of weird, I kind of like that. You know, I like leather stuff, and I like wood stuff, and I like metal stuff that shows wear. I like a, a used Glock and a used knife. I, I love wear marks. So it's kind of weird, but a backpack that will show that, I'm really stoked about it. I almost wanted to go throw this in the dirt, so I kind of got some wear on it. But it's new, there's not a whole lot of uh, finish, but I just, I love, I love the look of it. It's soft, it's relatively durable. Uh, it's not waterproof by nature, but if you wanted to shoot some Nick wax on it or something like that, you could make it uh, more water resistant. Uh, also, all of the zipper pulls are not, sorry. All of the zipper pulls do not rattle. There's no metal on metal, so that's nice. Uh, and then the back little pocket, the zippers are actually lockable. They're all YKK zippers, super tough, super durable. And really just, I mean, it's just, a, it's a quality bag. It's, it's not the cheapest bag, it's not the most expensive bag, but I think it looks great and it's just laid out really intelligently. Uh, and I've just, I try out, I test out a lot of bags and I just haven't found one to replace it yet. Um, so this is the Vertex Gamut. Uh, again, I do have a coupon code over there, so this bag's pretty expensive. Uh, I think it's a little under 200 bucks, but my coupon code is 25% off. So it'll drop about 50 bucks off that price. So again, LLOD, use that at vertex.com, vertex.com. If you wanna buy anything, that's the bag, that's it. So that's, that's about it. If you're just here for the bag, hit that thumbs up button, comment down below, get subscribed to the channel. I'm gonna go over some other random stuff as if this video wasn't long enough already. It was a good opportunity to talk about some gifts some friends sent me um, that I haven't integrated into my kit yet. But Bond, this company, makes some really slick gear and they do a lot of stuff in multicam black. So they just sent me out like three or four pouches uh, of various sizes that come in multicam black. Um, so if you're looking for a new pouch, this is a good one, a lot of organization, really well thought out, nice, high quality. Um, check it out, they sent it to me, I'll link to it on Amazon. Um, again, I just got these in the mail so I haven't used them for anything, but I thought, hey, good time to, good time to show them. This is a new knife. Again, this is just kind of show and tell, some new gear that I got that I think is cool. This is a Tor knives. These are kind of high, I would say they're high. They're high end for me. They might be mid range for some people. They may be ridiculously high out of their price range for other people, but I would consider it a high end knife. They have a bunch of different ones. A lot of them have these finger holes, which I like. Um, kind of tactical knives. They have them in various sizes. Anyways, they sent me these out as, as a gift and actually gave me a coupon code as well. Uh, I think it's LLOD. 
uh, we'll save like 10% at Tor Knives. Anyways, really beautiful. Just these kind of knives that I love the look of, right? They kind of just, I don't know. I'd bust it out in the end of the world just so I feel like it's the end of the world. Anyway, just a, just a cool knife I felt like showing off. Uh, here's another cool knife. This is from my friend over at Flagrant Beard. I don't know if we're focusing. I haven't been paying attention. But this is a knife again. I think people heard me say that I like knives with finger holes uh, for defensive applications. So I, I, was, I was gifted a handful of knives. So this one's from Flagrant Beard. Really nice, really nice knife as well. Comes in a pretty decent little sheath that you could carry on the back or the front um, horizontally on your belt. Uh, he, he gave me a code as well. I think it's LLOD. Uh, I think it's flagrantbeard.com. I don't know. I'll link to all this stuff down below as well. Just, you know, a cool little knife. I got a bunch of other stuff um, from this company, Big Design, and I love it. I'm showing these because these are all these are all dudes that are kind of fans of the channel, watch my videos. They, they hear me mention something and they're like, hey, dude, I, I make a I make a product that you would probably like. Uh, so these guys make all kinds of cool EDC gear. Uh, and the thing that I love about them is because I'm kind of a gear junkie, like you guys know, I've probably mentioned it a few times. This is all titanium stuff. Uh, so they have little like pry bars, they have little um, keychains, bits on keychains. This is a little titanium pry bar. This is a little bit driver so it's like it has like bit storage in here and a little driver on the end that you could add a little extension to magnetic all super high quality stuff this is one of those cool little wrenches anyway again this is just you know i was doing an edc backpack video so i figured i'd, I'd toss in some edc items this is unrelated but it's here on the table this is an se3 they didn't send this to me i i bought this because i was looking for a uh, I have so many knives. I mean, like, way more knives than any one person should have. But I've honestly wanted this knife for a while, uh, just to put on my belt when I was out camping. So this is my SC3. I like camping gear that is orange, because a lot of times I'm out cutting stuff or doing whatever, and maybe I'll leave it out, or maybe I'll forget it, and it's easy when I'm cleaning up camps to spot the bright orange knife that I left in the dirt or whatever. So anyway, that's an SE3. Uh, it's about a hundred bucks, made in the US, lifetime, no questions asked warranty. It's cool. Again, I just I, I bought this one. I don't even know why I'm showing it just because I've been playing with it a lot and it was on the table. Okay, that's enough for this random. All right guys, I think that about wraps it up. Hope you enjoyed that video. I kind of like these gear videos. I'm kind of a gear junkie, as you probably have figured out by now. If you made it this far, hit that thumbs up button if you found it helpful, informative, entertaining, any of those things. Think about getting subscribed to the channel if you're into gear, guns, adventure, that kind of stuff. Comment down below for the algorithm. Say, hey, what's up? And this video, as well as a lot of my other videos, are answers to questions that I get often. So if you have any questions for me, if you want me to cover some topics or some specific things in videos, comment down below. I kind of keep track of the comments, so that kind of helps me dictate what videos I'm gonna do moving forward. A couple that I'm gonna do is, a couple that I'm gonna do are, one of them is, so you're thinking about getting your first gun. I'm gonna talk about some things to think about if you're thinking about getting one. I'm gonna do an intro to kind of like overlanding, which is really, you know, just vehicular camping. A lot of people ask me, I get questions all the time. Hey, I like, it looks so fun. I really want to get into it. Where do I start? And for me, it's like pretty simple, obvious, but for some people, since I get so many emails about it, it's not that obvious. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a video kind of breaking that down, how to get into it. Uh, and then I'm gonna, I got some other videos too coming up, but yeah. Topical videos, I'll probably be knocking a few of those out over the next couple of weeks since I won't be going on many adventures, I think. So stay tuned for those. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching to the end. It means a ton. As always, take care.